Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at some tomatoes that I just harvested and I'll also do a bit of a garden update and show you the process of harvesting the tomatoes. The first one we're going to have a look at is Berkeley tie-dye. This is my first time growing this variety. It's very, very beautiful. The flavor is pretty good. The plant's very productive. My only complaint is this tomato seems to rot pretty fast after you pick it, so you do need to make sure that you eat it pretty soon after you pick it. This big one is Kentucky beefsteak. This is definitely the biggest tomato I've grown this year. It's pretty gnarly right here. You can just cut this part off and eat the tomato. Early in the season, you might notice some of your tomato plants producing really humongous flowers. They're actually fused blooms. It can be two flowers, three flowers, sometimes even more. And it'll just grow into a really big tomato. And a lot of times you'll see something like this on those tomatoes. This one right here was supposed to be a Dr. Weish's yellow. I'm fairly certain that I did not mix up the seeds. I'm always very careful when seed saving and labeling my seeds. So either this is some kind of a genetic throwback or my tomato flowers cross-pollinated. Tomato flowers are self-pollinating. They usually don't cross-pollinate, but they can, and sometimes they do. These tomatoes look just like Dr. Weish's yellow, aside from being red. This one is Lenny and Gracie's Kentucky Heirloom. It's a very pretty bicolor variety. These two are Turkish Striped Monastery. I've really enjoyed these tomatoes this year. It's a super productive plant. The tomatoes taste really good. My only complaint is that they are prone to cracking when you get a bunch of rain. These are German Johnson. They're big, pretty pink beefsteak tomatoes. They're one of my favorite varieties. I haven't grown them in a while, so I've really been enjoying them this year. Here we have some black cherry tomatoes. In my opinion, these are some of the best cherry tomatoes. All of these red ones over here are big beef. It's a very productive, very reliable variety. As far as flavor goes, they're okay. They're not the best, they're not the worst. If you want big tomatoes that are productive, it's a good variety to grow. The rest of the video is gonna be me harvesting these tomatoes and some garden updates so you can see what's growing around the garden. I almost forgot, the watermelons in the background here are gonna be in another video. I'll be posting that video around the same time that I post this video. All right, and that's it. Enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm.